All right, we're in Huntsville, Alabama. I just got here and it is H-O-T-T-T. -T -T. It's hot <laughs> here. So my baby girl just is here picking me up and the deacons are here. Okay, come on, come on, come okay, on, come on. Here we go. Here What's we go. your name? Misha Duramus. This is Misha Duramus and she's the church secretary. The church secretary. She's the church secretary. She's so nice. She greeted me with a smile. She got the little sign. Show yeah, me the sign. sign. Hi. Five star. Pastor Aziza Morrison and Georgina, Georgette. Y'all know who Georgette is, that's my assistant. So I just want her to say praise the Lord and then let her tell y'all about the conference so far. So thus far we've kicked off with Dr. Dorinda Clark Cole on the first night and last night Dr. Wanda Turner was with us so we're excited that Pastor Morrison has decided to allow us to give her her first visit to Huntsville, Alabama. Yeah, I told him I'd never been here before. And excited about what she has for us tonight. I know she's gonna come. And he gave me a word and, 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 and it's the theme of my conference this year. And the theme is the faces are changing. And when God gave me that word, He said, Aziza, I want you to tell the people that the faces are changing. And I'm getting ready to raise up men and women everywhere that's not connected to nobody, that don't know nobody, that don't have nobody back in them, but they got clean heads and a pure heart. And I'm about to raise them up to be the voice. All right, we're back live on the road with Pastor Aziza, and we are in Huntsville, Alabama. We have been churching tonight. Now, I know y'all get tired of me saying that because I say that every week that we've been churching, but trust me, these people was praising his name tonight. We had so much fun. The power of God was in this place. The Shekinah came and just rested, and so we have just gotten freshened up. We're actually getting ready to go eat with Pastor uh, Bobby and Lady Amy Sledge, and I'm telling you, these are some wonderful people. So what I did, y'all know me. I'm always hijacking people, and that this time, I got some friends. Come on, let me show y'all my friends. Say hi, y'all. Hey, could y'all come close? All right, so y'all know I'm working on getting me a new camera, so y'all just be praying for me. If my covenant partners was sold, then I could write. No, I'm just glad. I'm just glad. <laughs> Listen, I just wanted y'all to um, see some of the women that's here. A lot of people left because it's late. It's like after 10 o'clock, they were still praising them. 10 15, they were still praising them. So most people left, but I just wanted to grab some people and they're just going to come and just say their names and where they're from and just a little bit about the ministry tonight. So who want to go first? Come on, go first. Hey, and don't she look pretty in her yellow? Hey, everybody. This is Ashley Brown, um, Huntsville, Alabama. I just want to let you all know that tonight we had a time. I tell you, Pastor Aziza Morrison is truly a woman of God, and we had—I mean, it was—it was—it was phenomenal from start to finish. This is an anointed vessel of the Most High Aww. God, pure vessel. Amen. And so, y'all keep her in your prayers that God That's will continue right. to take us from glory to glory. And uh, it, we, I, I don't know what to say. It was <laughs> up in here is, tonight. Is she jazzy? <laughs> 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 Come on, come on, come on. What's your name? Juanita. Yes, I've been living in Huntsville for two years, but I'm originally from Florida. Okay. Tell everybody that. Okay. But, um, <laughs> my, my, what you said about the devil sitting on you and yeah. you with your mind and all, I mean, that just blew me away because I've been, you know, it's, it's like you was talking to me. It's like you came and sat in my living room. Right. I was just really blessed. She she is a truly blessed woman of God. And Amen. I'm glad that you, the Lord, laid it on your heart to come here and bless us all. Oh, Thank, you. Thank you. <laughs> just what I needed, y'all. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, my name is Bria. Hey, Bria. <laughs> um, you ain't shy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, she is fire. Y'all, for real. For real, she just fire. I mean, I don't know what else. Fire, F Y A, F I Y A, fire. Fire, F Y E, F I R E, F Y, fire, fire, fire. Uh huh. However you want to. You know, we down in Alabama. They don't say fire. They say fire. She's fire. She's filled with the Holy Ghost. For real, for real. She's anointed woman of God. I thank her for sharing her ministry with us on tonight. Amen. Oh my goodness. Can I have a hug? Thank you so much, Brad. Thank you so much. I know about Tommy Vega. Oh, 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 o
Hey, y'all, this is my Facebook friend, Sabrina Hassel. She be emailing me all the time on Facebook and try to act like she wasn't going to speak to me tonight. <laughs> so say something. Don't be acting all shy. Okay, that's your spirit. I, I just counted a, a suspect. <laughs> a proof is an honor to, to meet you. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I followed you online and whatnot. And it's just a blessing to be in your presence and to see that you, you allow God to use it so mightily. And I really need that on tonight. So Amen. I bless God for you. Amen. Amen. Oh, this is this is this is my new baby. This is my new baby, y'all. This yeah. is my new baby. So, all right, we love y'all. I'm about to go eat. I'm about to go with Pastor and Lady Sledge and just sit down. They call it a repast when you just come and sit in fellowship. So, y'all be praying for me. Next week, I'm going to Nashville, Tennessee, and we'll be with Bishop Sherman Mary in Nashville, Tennessee. So, y'all be praying for us. I love you. Stay stay in tune. You're watching on the road with Pastor Ziza. Bye bye. Don't miss your moment. People of God, we are living in an hour, a decade where if you really think about it, just think about your life. And I don't really know, of course, I don't know your particular situation, but I know what has been happening in the kingdom over the last 10 years. And over the last 10 years, the people of God, the body of Christ, we have been experiencing a season of testing over the last 10 years if you look back over your life it's been really a season of trying god has really been trying you over the last 10 years god has really been proving you he's been proving you because he's wanted you to see what was really in you he wanted you to know whether or not you could stand the test and he wanted to test you and try you to find out if your life could match the words that were coming out of your mouth. Because many of us have a great uh, 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 story and a great song to sing. But when the hell hit our lives. Come on here somebody. When the hell hit our lives. Uh, many of us our lives are not uh, reflective of the things we say. Because we say, God, regardless of what comes my way, I'm still going to praise you. But if you look back over the last 10 years, everybody don't have that testimony because many of us have fallen away. There has been a lot of people who started out with you that are not still here because they could not endure the fire. And so many of us got saved together, but we're not still standing together. Amen. And so uh, over the last 10 years, God has been wanting uh, to prove us. And, and the reality of the matter is that what has happened over the last 10 years is that God has uh, uh, revealed a lot of things. And, and there were a lot of things that were happening. People thought it was happening on the down low, but God brought it to the up front. Y'all not saying nothing. And so where you thought you was going to get away with something, God said, you can't get away with it in this season because what I'm getting ready to do with this season that's coming up, I'm only going to use pure vessels. I'm only going to use sanctified vessels. I'm only going to use righteous vessels. And so where people thought they were going to get away with something in the last 10 years, God says, I'm going to have to expose you to let everybody know that I'm still a holy God. And whether you want to live holy or not, I require holiness out of my people. And so there's been a great upset in the kingdom. There's been a great upset in the church today. What is the upset? The upset is that now everybody know your business. The upset is that, yeah, you powerful and anointing and anointed, but God, people know now that you got a lying spirit. Uh, you may be powerful and anointed, uh, uh, but something that just hit the fan, let everybody know that you are unintegral. Uh, uh, you may be powerful and anointed, uh, but God let the anger demon come up out of you. Uh, and now we all know that you need to be delivered. Somebody say the last 10 years. Oh. That's the question. You would miss your moment if you would let the enemy distract you. Distractions. People. I'm about to tell y'all something. I'm about to free y'all life. You better get to a place. I wish I could grab her all y'all by y'all clothes right here. I would shake you. You get to the place where people don't matter. 
because people will cause you to miss your moment. Because you want to be approved by them. I want to tell you something. They didn't like you then. They not going to like you now. They never validated you. And they not going to validate you now. You better go with the power and the anointing and the authority that God gave you. When you know it's your moment. You walk with your head up high. You walk with your shoulders back. When it's your moment, you don't offer no apology. You get there and you say, I'm supposed to be here. You're supposed to be there when the king gets ready for you. When the king is ready for you, he'll call you. God told me to tell you that over the last 10 years, he's been processing you. He's been preparing you and he's been preserving you for this moment.